Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you two different ways how you can log in into the WordPress dashboard for your website. And the first way is through the SiteGround dashboard. So as you can see over here, I have been logged in into my SiteGround account. And the first thing you have to do is click on the website tab over here. So click on it and scroll down to the this one over here, website learning lab. So now you can click on site tools. So click on it. Now you see that the site tools panel has been loaded. And what you need to do now is you have to click on this option WordPress over here. So click on WordPress and after that you can see these options in the drop down menu. And then you have to click on the one at the top install and manage. So click on it. Now you can see over here the manage installations overview. And there you can see the website that has been added. So in this case, it's my own website, of course, websitelearninglab.com. And what you need to do to log in into the WordPress dashboard is you have to click on this icon over here with the door and the arrow. If you hover over it, you can see login to admin panel. So click on it. Now you see a new window will open up and then you will be logged in automatically into the WordPress dashboard of your website. So you don't have to enter the in-log credentials. So that's great. Also, if you have many websites that you have hosted at SiteGround, then you can switch very easily between different websites over here by clicking on change. And you see an overview of all the websites that you have. I will blur it out, but then all the websites will be displayed. You can click on a website and then you can easily log in into the WordPress dashboard by going to the install and manage over at the WordPress option and then click on this icon over here. So that's one way to do it. And another way to log in into the WordPress dashboard is I will show you in an incognito tab. Over here you can see the regular website in an incognito tab. What you also can do is you can just go to the regular URL of your website then add forward slash followed by wp-admin. Now if you click on enter, then you see this page will be loaded. And over here you can enter the username that you have set up earlier or the email address. You can enter it also followed by the password. And then you have to click on login. So let me do it. Click on login. And now you can see I'm back over at the WordPress dashboard for this website again. This tutorial was specially for beginners and people who are completely new with web designing. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to let me know by smashing the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on new videos that will be uploaded. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back again in the next video.